Over the past several weeks, we've seen how COVID-19 lockdowns are causing a dramatic decline in air pollution levels across California and many other places in the world. But the effects of climate change are still very present and with no intention of slowing down. In the Western United States, climate has progressively gotten drier, and now scientists believe that since the turn of the century, they could be experiencing what they call the early stages of a mega drought. Uh, these long-term droughts are usually associated with uh, very dry conditions that last several decades and occasionally up to 100 years. Now, if we go back about 1,200 years, the worst drought scenario in the region occurred between 1575 and 1603. But the drought we're actually seeing this century is just as severe. Actually, during the last 20 years, all Western United States have been experiencing drier than usual weather with very frequent heat waves. On average, temperatures have risen 1.2 degrees this century, but scientists estimate that close to half of the severity of these droughts is related to these warmer conditions. Now, without the heat, the excess heat, we still would have seen these droughts happen, but nowhere close to what we're seeing today due to the influence of humans. Natural climate variability produces prolonged drought periods, which can be amplified by phenomena like El Nino and La Nina. Now, these long decadal droughts are definitely not the best of news given that historically they've had a tremendous impact on both the economy and the lives of millions. People in California know perfectly what drought means, and it's not just about dry, sunny weather. It implies water restrictions with all its consequences, and it means devastating wildfires. Now, 15 of the worst fires seen here in the state have occurred since the turn of the century, and unfortunately, the 2020 season could be just as intense.